offensive staff is so good and they put so much time and attention in every little detail. Um, and I think what makes those guys special is they never ask anybody on our team to do something that they can't be successful at. Um, and they put all of us in good positions tonight and um, that was certainly the case for me and, and we made it work. <laughs> I'm sure you guys spent the whole offseason working on more plays than the playbook for you. Did some of those have to be held at bay? Um, yeah, certainly. You know, I, I think it was trying to find the happy medium. Obviously, my role diminished special teams wise. And then we just tried to find that balance of, you know, uh, how much are we going to put both QBs at risk with, with two guys on the roster. And um, look, I, I'm happy that. Uh, Drew's back for, for multiple reasons. I love playing with him. He's, he's one of the best leaders I've ever been around. Uh, but it also creates more opportunities for me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the board of damage, you got those run a lot this week. Yeah, because the yeah. player said they might have had more energy in that last game. I mean, you pride yourself on being an energy guy. Like, uh, um, yeah, I try to. Look, I, I'm not, I, I know what my role is on this team. Um, and, and I'm, I'm happy with that. I certainly have different goals and plans and, and everything else for the rest of my career. But look, I, I'm just I'm happy to help our team win in any way that I can. So if I can step on the field, eight to ten or fifteen, twenty, whatever number that is, and you know my goal is to add a spark whenever I can. And um, coaches find opportunities to allow me to do that. And you know I, I love being able to to go in and, and add some energy. Well, look, I, I don't think um, co coaches really had to say anything about it. I think the leadership on this team um, it hasn't really been talked about, but we all know what the goal is. You know, I think you can't overlook winning your division and getting back to the playoffs. You know, certainly trying to get back to the NFC Championship game, but but the ultimate goal is always to win a Super Bowl. Um, but we know that there are steps to get there. But if you have guys like Drew and Cam Jordan that, you know, they've done that, done it. They've been been there before. So, you know, there's no mystery what the expectation and what the goal is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look, this, this is um, a big step to getting to our ultimate goal. And so we, we certainly celebrated. Um, we had the lights off and music and, you know, all sorts of stuff going in there. So, um, look, those are the things that I, I think is, as you look in the future, that's what you're going to miss, you know, the opportunities to celebrate with your teammates in the locker room after a big win and certainly clinching the division. Jason Hill, the Saints clinched the NFC South, the earliest in franchise history. It's the third year in a row, but you heard them. They know what the ultimate goal is. It's not just winning the NFC South again like they did last year. It's not just getting back to the NFC Championship game again like they did last year. It's winning a Super Bowl, and they know the steps they got to take to get there, and they're going to keep taking those steps. I think my favorite part of Jason Hill there was, as happy as he was to block a punt, as happy as he was to catch a touchdown pass, as happy as he was to run a touchdown into the end zone. He really wanted that play where he was supposed to throw a touchdown pass to work also, so he would have had all four of those elements on his stat sheet. Maybe next week against the 49ers he can do all four. Wouldn't that be great? Hey, it's Christian. Excited to tell you about Radio.com Rewind Rewind. Now on-demand technology that allows you to pause and rewind live radio. How many times do you tune into your favorite WWE shows and wish you hadn't missed what was just said? Or that tracks the report you need? The scroll the game you didn't catch? Well, now you can rewind your radio with Radio.com Rewind. The newest feature on the Radio.com app and desktop listening experience. Listen to WWE when you want, where you want, for the past 24 hours. You're going to love Radio.com Rewind. At the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, our team of nearly 21,000 strong is focused on one thing, ending cancer. Our physicians see more types of cancer in a day than many will treat in their whole career, giving our patients peace of mind with an accurate diagnosis and the right treatment plan from the beginning. At MD Anderson, we're finding new ways to give more hope to patients. Learn more at makingcancerhistory.com. What's sure to be the biggest jewelry event ever in New Orleans is coming next weekend, December 6th, 7th, and 8th. It's Diamonds Direct's first ever store-wide sale, a three-day, $30 million event. You save an extra 20% on virtually every piece of fashion and designer jewelry. That's 20% off Diamonds Direct's already unbeatable value price. Plus, an expanded inventory so with like 50 jewelry stores and one. Thank you. 
70 after listening to that Taysom Hill interview. It says, Taysom looked to enjoy those, that turkey leg more than those touchdowns. Yeah, you know, it was great to see all those Saints players gnawing on those turkey legs during the postgame show after the game. But I got to tell you, I think Cam Jordan, who had four sacks,